Hey, it's Chronologically Gaming, the only channel that will perpetually be retro because I'm playing every video game in order of release. And I mean every video game. Arcade games, handheld games, console games, even computer games. We're gonna do it all and we have so many to go through, so let's get right to it. Let's kick it off where we left last time, taking you back to 1977. So we're in 1977, this is the RCA Studio 2, a home console that came out before the Atari. We're still pretending Atari is not at home, it's only Fairchild Channel F and RCA Studio 2 right now. So this is 1977, the game we left off was fun with numbers, and I am not your school teacher, so uh, we do not play fun with numbers. We're not playing any games meant for early childhood. This is TV Arcade 2 Fun With Numbers, and guess what? You get a zero star rating because the games included on the cartridge are guess the number with one player, guess the number with two players, and reverse all fun number games. If we wanted to pretend we were three years old, maybe you can check out a different channel. So let's move to the next game, still at the RCA Studio 2 in 1977. This is Tennis Squash, or the full title is TV Arcade 3. And it looks just like another game we've heard of. Starts with a P, rhymes with Dong, Pong maybe? It's just the Pong version at home for the most part. Let's check out some of the artwork for Tennis Squash on the RCA Studio 2. There's the front box. Two people having so much fun with their RCA Studio 2 back in 1977. Uh, looks like the uh, front cartridge looks amazing with the orange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, loving the uh, 1977 look, and there is uh, no cover for the bottom of the cartridge, so you, you just wiped it with your shirt, uh, someone mentioned in the chat last time. Looks good, and screenshots mean this is a total black and white game. We have no manual to this game, so if you look on the cartridge, though, it tells us there's two games. We got squash and we got tennis. I don't know how they're going to differentiate. They're probably going to look exactly like Pong. So let's take a look. All right, so we are in the summer of 1977. This is the RCA Studio 2, right when they started to introduce the cartridges that you could put in the system. So we have booted up the system, and don't adjust your television sets. It is not broken. This is the way it booted up. And what we have to do is push the clear button on the console. Boop. You push clear, and then you use the key, the keypad, and you push what game you want to play. So I selected the first game, which I think we said was Squash, uh, and uh, booted up. But are we playing? Is there anyone playing Squash with me? Anyone? Oh, wait. Something is happening. All I have to do is the console has two keypads, A and B. Since we don't have instructions, I'm just pushing buttons on the keypad to see if I can figure out which button does what to play the game. Oh, yes, okay, so I finally got it to run by pushing almost every button, but uh, there are no controllers or joysticks. The RCA Studio 2 had just two keypads, and now I'm playing Squash, which is, is there even a score for this? I hope nobody in 1977 bought this game and just played Squash over and over again until they went insane, because there's no score. Uh, the, the whole point of the game is... Let's keep the ball bouncing against the wall. That's squash. Yeah, this this is all there is. This this is it. That that's what squash is. Okay, so uh, there's not much more to this one. Let's check out the second one. I'm gonna push clear again on the console, and then let's try game two, which should be tennis. And let's see if we can get the controllers in. Okay, so it looks like you can pick different difficulties by pushing. A, a certain button. Okay, it looks like I'm up. So I'm controlling both players. Player one is on the left, player two is on the right. And because of the difficulty, the little paddles are smaller on the right. So whoever's on the right is probably the older brother or sister, and the person on the left is the younger brother or sister. And it's just, it's pretty much Pong, but RCA Studio 2 calls it tennis because everybody called it Pong. Pong was everybody, Pong was so popular that calling something a video game was Pong. It was it, it was the same thing. And this is it. Again, we do not have a score. This game is not scoring anything. It, it's, it's just bouncing the ball back and forth. Man, we're driving people insane in 1977. So this is uh, enough for this one. Uh, we, we checked out enough of 
tennis and squash. So let's exit out of that one. And for ratings, this one is below average, especially for the home in 1977. I'm going to give this one and a half. It does have two games, but this is pretty bad for the rest of the things we've seen in the home we could play in 1977. All right, let's move on to our next game. Still with RCA Studio 2. If you look down in the uh, bottom left corner over there, uh, over there, the console shows the keypads, and you had to bring the whole console to you and then push the buttons on the keypad to play the game. Hopefully you had an instruction manual because it told you which buttons to push. And they even said when you're playing the game, you are programming the game. So really fun. Let's go program some RCA Studio 2. So moving on to our next game, this has one game to play. This is baseball on the RCA Studio 2. Judging by the video, you've got to use a lot of imagination to see baseball on that. But uh, let's see if we can see any more from the artwork. Uh, they have a, a super retro 1977 baseball player on the box. And the cartridge looks good. So it's a two-player game, a game of baseball. Uh, you got me with the graphics. So let's see what happens. Let's play... Baseball in the RCA Studio 2. It just came out. It's brand new in the summer of 1977. All right, so first we push clear on the console, and then I want to play baseball. So I push the button. Does it load? Does not. What if I push that button? Does it load? It does not. It is not loading. I'm pushing all the buttons on the keypad of my RCA Studio 2. It is still not loading. It's still not doing anything. Maybe this one is a broken one. I'm not sure, but we're not getting any response. Hey, we got Bruce Howlett in the chat. Welcome. All right, so let's try something a little different then. If this one will not load, we may have to try a, a different approach instead of the usual. But these games are so old that you have to know what the program is for it. So... All right, let's, let's try it one more time just to see. So hitting again, clear on the console, and let's try a different button to push. Anything? Nope, we got a broken broken game. Sorry about that, guys. Baseball gets a zero-star rating. We don't get to use our imagination for baseball. All right, moving on to our next game. It's still the summer of 1977. We're, at the RC we're playing the RCA Studio 2. The next game we have is... TV arcade series, Gunfighter and Moonship Battle. So this is another game that has multiple games inside of it, like uh, the standard for the time. If you look at the cartridge, we have three games to choose from. We got Gunfighter for one player, Gunfighter for two player, and then Moonship Battle for two players. And uh, judging by what we've seen on the RCA Studio 2, the graphics are, wow, uh, four or five pixels each. So uh, let's see if this one will run. Uh, this is June 1977 when the RCA Studio 2 brought us Gunfighter and Moonship Battle. All right, so I'm pushing the clear button on the RCA Studio 2, and I'm trying game one. Oh, we got a game. We have a game. So I am moving the right player. We're going to call him our cowboy on the right. you got to use a lot of imagination. There's my cowboy hat. I, I'm just making it up, uh, seeing if I see something. And, and I'm getting destroyed by the computer. Can I shoot it? Okay, there we go. So I, I do have a button to play. I'm using a keypad that I have to move up and down. So there is no joystick to play this. I'm pushing buttons on the keypad and getting destroyed by the computer in 1977. I can't believe this. He's killing me. Yeah, he's... I, the, the computer is so hard that even whenever I try to make uh, get a shot off... Finally! Okay, I got one point on the computer. The computer is killing me 13-1. And he's even knows how to dodge. So the computer's on the left side. I'm on the right side. Oh, that's that's hard. But at least there's some score. Uh, let's try a different one out of it. Uh, let's uh, hit the clear button again. So I hit clear on the console. And let's try game two. So this is the two-player version of Gunfighter. So I can move uh, one player on the on the left. There's the one player moving up and down. I can move the other player on the, on the right. Let's go up and down. There we go. And then uh, can we move left and right? No. All, all, all the gunfighters can do is move up and down. That is it. And then they can shoot their gun. And it looks like I, I can still get two bullets on the screen at once. But uh, you, you pretty much can aim it up and hammer it out back and forth <laughs> as, as the two people. So pretty enjoyable. But still, graphics are way be, a little bit uh, subpar compared to what we've seen. 
So let's check out the third game. Moon base, we're gonna do again, reset. We click clear on the console, and then our third game is moon base. I don't know what I'm looking at. I see two number 100s. Uh, what happens if I move? Okay, so I can, uh, it's a two player game, so I'm moving one player. There's the player on the side, and then the other player uh, way on the other end uh, can move up and down. Okay, I see. All right, so each player now has left, right, up, down, and they can do, can they go diagonal? No, but they have a shot. They have a shoot. Okay, so this one has a little more complication, but it's still uh, the same idea. You're on one side of the screen, and the other side of the screen, and then you shoot each other. And um, it looks like we have points at the top, but the points are going down when I shoot. Like it's our energy for the vehicle. Not as helpful, just because we don't have the manual for this one. But it it looks like. Do I get points for? Okay, I see. We both have energies starting at 100, and as soon as you shoot one of the other people, the energy starts going down. If you use your shots, your energy goes down, but you lose much more if you get shot by the other player until you have one person that wins. So it's last man standing. Pretty good. All right, so let's exit out of this one. Very nice. That was probably one of the best RCA Studio 2 games we played, but still subpar. Uh, our average is three stars for the time. We're going to give this one a two and a half just because uh, graphics and sound, just not cutting it in the home. Uh, we have another console that's doing it better than that. Yeah, uh, Jade Babydoll said in the chat, uh, it's a white pixel versus another blinky white pixel. That's how they should have described it on the cartridge. All right, moving on to our next game. Still in the RCA Studio 2. We're going through all the releases. All these were released in the summer of 1977. This is Speedway and Tag. So it looks like this comes with two games. Let's see the artwork on it. There's the front of the box. This is the TV Arcade series of the RCA Studio 2. This is Speedway and Tag. I guess one, yeah, I guess that's Speedway, I guess that's Tag. Oh man, so many pixels. Well, I guess how few of those pixels. All right, we do not have a manual for this one, so we're winging it. Here we go, RCA Studio 2, we're playing Speedway and Tag, the summer of 1977. All right, so again, I do not have a controller, I don't have a joystick. You have to play this with taking the whole console and you're playing with two keypads that have the full number as if it was a telephone. All right, so I'm pushing clear on the console and I'm like, all right, ready to play. Let's play game one, which is, uh, it looks like Speedway maybe? Which one are we playing? Can I move anyone? Hello? Oh, I can. Okay, so I, I, I moved one player and it's the, uh, it's the square that's solid and there's a square that's not solid. So uh, one, one person is uh, playing as a solid square, one person is playing as an open square. And you're, you're controlling the cars as they go around this course. And whenever you crash against the wall, it has a deafening sound that sounds like uh, it's trying to uh, torture children for their mistakes for playing this game on the RCA Studio 2. So as you move around, you get different uh, laps to score you. And is there a way to control? Okay, so yeah, each car can move in different different ways, but <laughs> you can even go the wrong way if you want to. But if you eventually get, if you get your speed up, you can go back and forth uh, as long as you don't hit the wall. And then you, you'll continue to go faster and faster. Ah, turn it off, make it stop. All right, I'm pushing uh, clear again, stop. And I reset, so let's try game two, which is tag. Oh my gosh, this has to be one of the worst looking home games we've ever seen. It is literally one giant pixel with a small dot and then another giant pixel with, I guess, another smaller dot. This is what they call the game of tag. And I'm moving uh, one character uh, with one keypad so they get to run around. And then I guess the other character runs around and they're playing tag. Oh my gosh, that is a digital tag game of tag. Why would you want to play this on a console? This one, this makes kids want to go play actual tag in the house because you're just chasing one giant pixel against another giant pixel. Wow, I am blown away that this even came out. So we are done with those those two games. This is uh, the Speedway one has a little something, but we're still looking bad. This is. One, one and a half. If anyone has any 
contention or thinks that we should do something else because it's it's not broken but it's just yeah it can't be one star we'll do one and a half because it's the worst of the bad that, that that could be at this time at least in the home all right so going on to our next game uh, rca studio 2 this is blackjack we're really not going to hit on any casino games but uh blackjack is a, a a fun game if you like cards but uh, because it's a casino game, we're going to give this one zero stars. So Blackjack is zero. Moving on to our next game. It is TV Bingo. And believe it or not, the box is larger because this is real bingo. It comes with bingo cards inside the box. And whenever you play the game, you use a card and you're marking off and you're playing bingo. So if you were... Wanting to play bingo on the RCA Studio 2, why are you not playing real bingo? Uh, this is a zero star. Sorry, uh, playing bingo on RCA Studio 2, just you're making bad choices with your life. That, that's, that's what I would say. All right, moving on to the next game. These are actual cartridges that came out in the summer of 1977 on the RCA Studio 2. The next game is the TV Mystic Series Biorhythm. Is this even a game? I don't think so. Let's check the images out just to be sure. Uh, it looks like it's doing something physical, emotional, and intellectual. I don't think video games should be doing that in the first place. So here we go. It displays your physical, emotional, and intellectual biorhythm cycles. Yes, this is not a game. So guess what? You get a zero star rating. <laughs> we are uh, done with... Uh, Biorhythm on the RCA Studio 2. All right, moving on to our next game. It's TV Schoolhouse 1. Another game meant for children, which means uh, it gets a zero star because uh, we're not hitting up any games that are for early childhood. If you want to get taught how to... Uh, <laughs> early schooling, please go to school. Don't, uh, don't play the RCA Studio 2. And moving on to our next game, it's TV Schoolhouse 2. Twice as better as TV Schoolhouse 1. Getting a zero star rating because we're not hitting up on those games. Moving on. 